And now to some more information on the condition that took Coach Gibbs's life. An aortic aneurysm or dissection is something that many of us have never heard of. It also took the life of Jonathan Larson, the author of Broadway's hit play Rent, as well as TV star John Ritter. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez tells us what we need to know about the condition. Aneurysms are simply a ballooning out of an artery anywhere in the body, although they're most common in the brain and the aorta, the body's largest artery. In the aorta, they can occur in the abdomen or the chest, and either way, if they start to tear or dissect, as happened with Coach Gibbs, it's very bad news. If an aneurysm ruptures outside the hospital, the vast majority are fatal. If a patient reaches the emergency room with a ruptured aneurysm, 50% won't survive. So it really be behooves, you know, quick diagnosis and intervention. Intervention today means either major surgery to cut out the aneurysm, ideally before it starts to tear, and replace it with an artificial graft. Newer and less invasive interventions involve relining the aneurysm with a stent to keep it from bursting. The problem is... The vast majority of them are asymptomatic until they're not. And so they're found incidentally on a, on a screen for, for back pain, an MRI or an ultrasound for a gallbladder, and lo and behold, we'll see an aneurysm. They're called the silent killer for that reason because they're silent until all of a sudden they rupture. But certain high-risk individuals can and should be screened for an aneurysm, either with an ultrasound in the abdomen or a CT scan in the chest. Those include men over the age of 60, people with a history of smoking, and especially those with a family history of aneurysms. If an aneurysm is found, doctors will usually monitor it until it starts to grow rapidly or it gets larger than about two inches in men or slightly smaller in women. That's when they're at risk for dissection and rupture and intervention is recommended. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News. If you would like to learn more about aortic aneurysms, just head to our website, cbsnewyork.com, and click on links and numbers. We've set up a link there to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention.